the police sent us home. Why? Because we were in the way. They're probably better off waiting for news here anyway. What are they doing about finding him? Everything they can. They've put his details in a missing person's website. That's it? <sighs> well, he's 17. He's an adult to them. And he said he didn't want to live here, so they think that he's probably not so much missing, but more avoiding us. I'm probably thinking that they're right. What about his message for Belle? About life not being worth living? Last night you thought he'd... that he'd hurt himself. Well, I know I'm starting to think more clearly. It's obviously just teenage angst. You know, when Lucky's hurt, he lashes out at other people, not himself. He, he wouldn't do anything stupid. Me and Sam can help look for him some more. Well, I thought you had a funeral to go to. The living are more important. No, go. There's no point all of us wasting our time worrying about him. It's probably exactly what he wants. A little fool will come home when he's punished me enough, which hopefully will be sooner rather than later. What's Rebecca said about Luckless? Is he still missing? Should I keep looking for him? I, I don't know. Are you heading up there now? I could use a lift. You know, check in with his mum and see what else I can do. I spoke to that policeman and gave him a few pointers about where Lachlan usually hangs out, but he didn't seem too hopeful. Hey, uh, get a latte to take away, please. Of course. Hello? Dad? Chris, are you back? What? Um, this gives you possession of all my shares. You mean the shares you should never have stolen? I bought. Bex, I, I, I'm not fighting you, OK? You want the shares, they're yours. Well, they're Seb's. I mean, if I'm going to lose money, then I want it to go to my son. You're in control of them until he turns 21. Here. Have a look while I take him. Don't touch him. I'm, I'm giving you what you want here. All the shares, no fight, no fuss. But I'm, I'm going to back off, but not forever. You have to let me be a part of his life one day. No, I don't. He's my son. You don't get to call him that anymore. I mean it. You're out of his life now. Give them here. Goodbye, Robert. Bex, please. No. No more begging. No more giving you the benefit of the doubt. I've tried that, and every time you threw it in my face. I won't... Every single time, Robert. Now, my nephew is missing. And instead of helping my sister, I'm covering for you. Which I'm grateful for. Save it. I'm not helping you. I'm protecting them. They've got enough stress on their plates without me admitting you're the same viper you always were. Hey, you played us all for fools again. If these are what you say they are... They are. Then we never have to speak to you again. <laughs>